Okay, so not all at once, but go right ahead. So one thing that, sure. are we John with Bloomberg? Okay. Um, I think one thing people are wondering is, if you were in the debate, how would you handle some of these detailed policy questions? If you had the Aleppo incident and color like has, like you guys had in your Facebook briefing, um, Piles and piles of so I would tell people that in my heart, I want to stop with these military interventions. In my heart, I don't want to send our men and service women to lose their lives, and I don't want them to be responsible for what ultimately are thousands of innocent people being killed in these countries. So Hillary Clinton dots the I's and crosses the T's on all of the, all of the names and everything associated with this, but as a result of that, we have the foreign policy that we have right now that I have to tell you, I think is horrible. Horrible! And that's how I would answer it tonight. I would be mad. I would be angry. I would be angry that people would be calling me out on the names, uh, uh, or geographic locations, names of foreign leaders, when the underlying policy has thousands of people dying. And that is unacceptable. So is this the Gary Johnson that we would have seen in the debate? This is the Gary Johnson that you would have seen in the debates. It angers me to no end. And why do you think that you've had so much support? I mean, there's more support than... Because what I'm saying, I think, echoes what most people think. That what we do is ridiculous. What we do is abhorrent. I mean, you have, there's more support for you guys to be included in the debate than there are people who would vote for you. Why do you think that there's so much? Because that has to do everything to do everything with the fact that uh, that both of them are vilified. Both of them are unpopular. Sixty percent of Americans view them negatively. I, I think it's, it's pretty clear that we don't have a qualitative uh, problem with the ticket. We have only a quantitative uh, problem, which is getting known by 50 percent of the electorate instead of 30 percent. And if we go to 50 percent recognition, we'll go to 25 percent ballot. Uh, preference because Gary doesn't have the negatives that the two uh, major party candidates seem to have. So what do you so do? It's pretty that? straightforward. Now you guys aren't going to be in this debate. You may not be in the VP debate. So what do you guys do between now and the, the third debate? To well, you know, we we tell our story. It's it's a matter of uh, going around and trying to persuade the national media, among others, as well as uh, the people that we see every day. Uh, that we offer an alternative to the two establishment parties and that we're fiscally responsible uh, and that we're socially inclusive, both of which things we've proved through our two terms, each of us, in office. So the difference between us and Brand A and Brand B uh, is that we've been there and done that and nobody can argue that we didn't change our states. And we were Republican governors in Democratic states, so by definition, we had to work across the aisle to get our programs uh, enacted, and we did. We both moved our states in more conservative uh, directions fiscally. Nobody can dispute that. So, you know, hope is not a plan. We have a plan, and it's to do what we've already done. I think, guys, um, Victoria here from Twitter, I think this touches on a really good point. Here you are at Twitter, and you have a direct pipe into the people who are supporting you. How are you guys using things, tools like that? And what do you hear from the people who do support you? What are they asking you? Well, I think that we, because of the tools that we do have available, Twitter being right at the top of the list, that we are able to communicate. And thank you for that. <laughs> so th this really is uh, a year of social media. It's not a year where bought and paid for advertising in the last week of the campaign is going to swing the election, because people will tune that out. You know, once you get past 1,250 gross rating points per week, so every man, woman, dog, and cat has heard the ad, you know, 17 times, people are say no. And I think decisions get made virally, social media, and across the fence. We, have, we uh, um, have understood today that Hillary is spending $18 million right now to discredit us. That is more money than we will end up probably having in the campaign to uh, conduct our campaign. Um,
what do you guys make of the idea that you are spoiler candidates? And I'm that, 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 that it's just oh. that it's just it's horrible. Why would you even say that? We're giving people a chance to vote for something as opposed to the lesser of two evils. That's what we are that's what we are providing. First vote. You want to waste your vote with Hillary or Clinton uh, or or Trump, go right ahead and waste your vote. We're not spoilers, we are the first vote. Last question, please. Anybody else? So I guess we should drop out. Is that what you're saying? Is that is that your editorial here? Is that we should drop out? Another way of putting it is that this is a year when the voters really, uh, because of the constellation of the stars, the voters do have to think for themselves. And we think if they do think for themselves, that they'll recognize that we're the highway up the middle which is fiscally conservative and socially liberal, which is about 60% of the people in the United States. In business terms, that's a pretty good addressable market. So it's a question of getting that story out there. We'd love to be on the stage tonight, but failing that, we're very grateful for the chance to tell our story through this meeting. Last question. All at once. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? Um, given the amount of money that's been spent on both sides, advertising, if, obviously you don't have as much money to spend. If you had been told equally with the other candidates, do you think we'd be in a different situation right now? I, I do. I absolutely believe that if we were just given top line polling, that we would be in the debates tonight. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.